Now, here's a here's a now this is the big one, man. This is coming up July 29th. I will be there. T Mobile running. You going to the fight? Yeah, I'm waiting a lot. I'm waiting on uh Derek James. But let me know right now. Okay, I'll let you know right now. Um uh how do you see that going? Spence and Crawford. I, I did see you were working with uh Spence doing camp, correct? Yeah. Describe the environment being in the camp with like with uh Errol Spence Jr., unified welterweight champion of the world. It's all dog work. He working. He working. He working hard because he know Crawford's working hard. He ain't cutting no corners because he know Crawford's not cutting no corners. Uh, he's not in the weight loss camp. I can tell you that. He in great shape. Uh, when I seen him, he was already eight weeks out from the fight, and he didn't look like he didn't look big. Like he just looked like he was in good shape and just improving on his craft, following uh, Derek James' instructions to follow the game plan. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. When you guys, when you guys go in there, um, not saw that all access. The, the clips that we saw, they, you would kind of piece them all up a little bit. Now, do they edit it that way? Like, how competitive is it? Do you guys just work around a little bit, or like, no, man, I'm he's the welterweight champion of the world. I'm trying to hurt him. No, no, we don't play no games when we in there. I know who he is, and so with that being said, if I'm not coming with with my my eight game shit. Earl break reels and break eye sockets. I, know, I, I can't let that happen to me. So we really in there. We in there working. We ain't holding back. When you when you think about uh, the experience, did you was this your first camp with Earl? Yes. This is my first camp with him. It's not my first time sparring him. Okay. How many times have you sparred him? Well, when did you guys? I sparred him? him twice in 2018. So it's my we've got first time sparring him in like five years. Okay. Do you can, do you see a difference from when you worked with him before to this one? Because I did hear a lot of things have changed in his camp and his life since then. Yeah, a little bit of a difference. I mean, difference, but he's still a dog. He's still a body snatcher. He's still got that nagging ass jab. Uh, he, he's still a workhorse. How many rounds you guys do together? Shit, the first time ten. Damn, just you and him ten? Yeah. Not in sweep. Okay. And uh, a couple other times we went eight, eight. We pretty much averaged uh, six, well, about like seven to ten rounds. We saw we score. How can, uh, have you ever uh, been in camp with uh, Tim Crawford? No, I ain't never been in camp with Crawford, but I have sparred him before. Same year, same time. When I was on the USA team, I sparred Crawford a couple times. Well, can you describe the contrast of sparring with Crawford versus sparring with Spence? Because you're in a unique situation right here where you can. You're probably one of the few people that we can talk to about the the difference between these two. It's totally different. Uh, scientifically, uh, man, all of them, as far as them two, man, it's, it's so so much like night and day, but they got similarities as far as both of them being dogs, willing to, willing to go toe to toe. You hit me, I hit you. I'm not backing down. I'm not going to break. You're not going to break. So this fight has no choice but to give you fireworks. And that's no choice. And then both men have a solid jaw, even though both men have been hurt before. But it's gonna be a great fight. It's gonna be a great fight. Somebody, I was talking arguing with somebody the other day. They said Arrow's never been hurt. Now Buzz is been hurt in the Gamboa fight. Um, you seen that? What, what fight are you referring to when you said Arrow's been hurt before? What fight? Well, I believe he got shocked when he fought that black dude. It was that real, real chocolate dark dude. And uh, I forgot his oh, name. Oh, you like that? Marte? Yeah, he, uh, yeah, I think he caught Earl with a shot off the ropes. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and that's the one you then, see him do, the slow motion shot where you see him do like that. Okay. And then Ugas caught him with a good body shot that he didn't too much like. And then, like, 10 or 11. Hmm. But I didn't see Bud hurt too. But that don't necessarily mean he got a weak chin. I seen Floyd yeah. hurt four or five times. But nobody ever said Floyd had a weak chin. Come on now. So this part of the game, it's part of the sport. If you get hurt, you get your knees may take a little buckle every now and then, but shit, how they finish the fight? They may get buckled, but they come back stronger. That's why I said, like, you hurt them, they hurt each other. They coming back even harder. So these this is a, these two black dudes that got hearts like Mexicans, that's willing to bang like Mexicans, but got skills of supreme athletes. Mm. So it's gonna be a, a all time legendary fight. I'm riding with the big fish on this one. You, you, okay, you gotta pick one. You riding with the big fish. Yeah. Now, is it is it because you got to see the camp? Is it because of Texas, or you really just believe he's the better fighter? It's all of the above. Okay. This is boss.